As promised, here's part two of the playback controls tutorial. In the first part, we drew the buttons, and in this part, we're gonna animate them inside of Flinto for Mac. Let me know what you wanna see next, what tutorials you'd like to see. I need ideas, leave them in the comments. Okay, my idea is that the pause button will be visible, and when you tap it, the stop button and the play buttons will pop out. So the first thing I wanna do is note that these are 60 by 60 because I'm gonna scale them down and I wanna remember for scaling them back up. So I scaled that down to 28. I'll scale this one down to match. And I'll put these both behind the pause button. And then I'm gonna select both of those buttons and fade them out so their opacity is zero. So now all we see is the pause button. Now if I select all these layers, including the invisible ones, and you can see in the layer list that all three groups are selected. I want to create a behavior around these. So I'll click behavior in the toolbar and I'm brought into the behavior designer. So my initial state is just the pause button. I want to add a new state. So I'll click this plus button and I'm going to take this play button. I'm going to select it in the layer list. And then I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and press the right arrow to move it out so I can see where it is. I'm going to fade it back in and I'm gonna scale it back up so that it's now 60 by 60. I'll do the same thing with the stop button. Select it in the layer list, left arrow a few times, fade it in, and resize it. Now I'm holding shift while I resize it to make sure I don't distort the shape. So I'll get that to 60 by 60 and put it right up against the edge, put both of those against the edges of the play button. Now the play button, I wanna scale that down and fade it out. And then maybe these, I'll move them so they're right up against the center. And then I'll select this one, hold shift on my keyboard and press the right arrow to move it 10 pixels over to the right, 10 points rather. And then the same thing for the stop button, but I'll go towards the left. Okay, now I know they're both spaced out evenly from the center. If I click back to the initial state, I can see a really nice animation. Now I need a way to get between these states to make this behavior interactive. So I'm gonna click on this pause layer, click create link and target the new state. So a tap gesture will take me from the initial state to the new state. Now from the new state, tapping the play button would resume playing and then that would take you back to the pause button. So I'll click create link, target the initial state and click done. Now the stop button would do something else, maybe take me uh, away from the screen entirely. So I won't do anything with that in the behavior designer. I'm gonna name this playback controls. Click save and exit. And now I'll open up the preview and test this out, make sure it works. Cool, it works. So that's a nice animation created from start to finish inside of Flinto for Mac, including drawing the buttons and their icons.